in this uh, lecture our objective is to draw a regular polygon inside a circle basically inscribe a regular polygon of any number of sides inside a circle okay it may be 5 it may be 6 depending on what you want okay let us uh, let us try maybe with a pentagon we can try uh, so for that what i have to do first i have to draw a circle okay let us uh, draw a circle with any radius uh, this is the circle i am i have drawn okay so this is the circle that i have drawn uh, get its diameter so to get the diameter I use the scale any direction you can get the diameter so but it is better if i make a horizontal diameter so it will be easier to understand it so i am trying to make a horizontal one bring it here okay so bring it here. And now you can change the thickness of your marking so i have made it a little smaller thickness so uh, with this one you can change the color also any let us say okay. Okay. So this is the diameter. Now I have to divide this diameter into some equal number of parts. Okay, depending on what I want. What is my objective? Whether I want a pentagon or I want a hexagon or I want a whatever you want. So based on that, you have to divide it. So to divide it, you have to draw an inclined line. Okay, I am making this is a green color. Okay, let us say I have taken a green color. So I will make an inclined line. Okay. Now our objective is to divide this line into equal number of parts. To do that, you bring it, uh, bring this uh, one here, and uh, you make this. Uh, I'm talking about square, uh, lower, lower size of this uh, size, and uh, divide it. Maybe say if I want to do a pentagon, then I will divide it into five. Equal. Let us say I'm doing a pentagon. Okay, so first part, then part, second part. Cut, 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 okay, then fourth cut, fourth cut, and then last okay. Because I want a pentagon, so I have divided this into five. Okay, in addition to that, what I, I will do this uh, remaining part later, I am finishing the part, work of the compass. In addition to that, we have to make two arc, which will be equal to the radius of this circle okay so make two arc one from this a first center let us say this is point a one from point a and another from point b and let us uh, find out their intersecting point let us say i have drawn it from point b and it is done now let us say i will give some name to all this okay, let us say this is i am giving with a different color say with blue color i am giving say this was a okay let us say this is point p okay and the diameter say it was let us say this point was okay this is the name that i have done now i have to divide this diameter into five equal but for that i have to use a scale and i have to connect these two points last two points okay if you say these are the numbering maybe you can give one dash two dash three dash four dash five dash numbering you have to connect five dash to Okay, so you know how to do this or that you learn all this part in some or if you have not learned then you have to first learn those part also. I am not uh, discussing that part in this uh, lecture, so this is a separate part. Or any book or any other uh, lectures. Okay. Okay. So almost I am getting a parallel. See, I am doing with a scale because I don't have a mini reference. You have to use a mini reference. Okay, so I am dividing it. Let us say I am using a blue pencil. Here I say I am using multiple uh, color of pencil just to show you. Or otherwise, let us use a green color here. Maybe I am preferring this one. Okay, so this is the line. That's one I have done. Okay, next I have to draw the parallel line. So to draw the parallel line, I just drag it to continuously. Okay, so if you drag it to, without disturbing other side, then it will be a parallel and automatically you know it. Okay, so dividing this line. Okay, so dividing here. So this is parallel. Now you can give them numbering. Uh, so numbering I am making it with 
numbering problem. Okay, let us say this will be number one, this will be number two, then number three, and number four, and these are the numbering. Okay, now connect this point P and two and extend it to up to this circle A, B, and C where it is intersecting. Okay, so that is next. Our objective is to connect. Connected is to close the scale here once again. This and close it, close it, rotate it, rotate it, rotate it. It should be very much perfect here because everything will depend on this perfection. Okay. That's not done. Rotate it more. Not yet. Still nothing more. Okay, now let me drag it. Drag it almost done, you can say. Just a little more. Yeah, this is done. Now you connect this. Okay, now no doubt I will use a different color here to just uh, distinct it. Okay, now if I connect it, see it is connected. Okay. Take the scale out here. This P2 has connected and have extended it. Let us say this is point C. Now take this SC as the radius and draw and cut the circle. And cut the circle into five different. It will, no doubt it will divide the circle into five different. Okay. Fine. So first cut. First cut, bring it here. Better you reduce the size. Second cut, third cut, Fourth cut, and this is the last fifth cut. Okay, now you join them. How to join them again? I do the shape. I will make the shape of the circle first. It's very easy to find them. Now you can see that I have drawn the pentagon. If you measure the uh, side, side, all the side of the pentagon, it should be almost equal. There may be some issues because uh, I am not that much of a uh, frequent user of this software. So maybe because of that, see here even so the cutting points are not exactly perfect. The, but the procedure is same. So these procedures you can use and you can draw any polygon of any sides inside a circle. That is, Describe a regular polygon of any number of sides. Okay, uh, that's it for this. But I hope um, it will be very easy for you. You can give some name also that I have not given. Say ASC was given. Uh, now you give this ASC, then maybe you can give a name of uh, E. Okay. So you have drawn a pentagon of A, C, D, E, F inside a circle. Okay, you can draw a hexagon also, heptagon, anything. Okay, simply thing is that you have to divide this diameter into equal number of parts. And then you have to connect this point P with the point number 2 and then you have to extend it. Then you get the diameter. Okay, what you get, draw the arc and cut this circle into equal number of parts. Automatically you will get an equal number of parts. The number of... Uh, Division you have done for the diameter, same number of cutting you can done for the circle. Okay, so that's it.